Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on January 3rd on this beautiful Thursday. How's everybody doing this great, wonderful, uh, exciting trading day with uh, Apple taking a little bit of a bombshell report? How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Gene, Phil, Ken. Good morning, everybody. Steve, I'm telling you, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm so happy that we're starting to get into full groove. What a rally yesterday, huh, in the market? I'm telling you guys, I was, I, you know, I, I got a couple of things I want to talk about before we start getting into a watch list and how fun we, uh, of the market of a rally we had yesterday. First of all, we had a really nice little, um, some really good news that came out in the market. Uh, listen, I've been doing this for 25 years, okay? And I've never seen anything that would bring down the market with realistically no m major news. I mean, you got some news here and news there, this and that, the, the government shut down and, 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 you know, the trade wars. But, like, it's not a financial catastrophe. You know, I mean, when I was in 2008, we had the banking crisis. I mean, we saw the writing on the wall. It was just a matter of time. Yeah, I know, Ken, the sky's falling, this and that. But, I, listen, I, I was the Internet bubble. Yeah, I mean, listen, we, I remember uh, Amazon back then. I mean, granted, it worked out pretty well now after 20 years, but that stock was trading at 3,000 times earnings. That's like buying a bottle of water and paying $1,000 for it. 3,000 times earnings. Cisco trading at 200 times earnings. The average company should be trading no more than 20, 30 times earnings. Um, you know, I'm not here to give you economics class and you know, explaining how that works, but you know, we're just traders. But when it comes down to it, um, you know, I'll tell you a funny story when it comes to trade. Well, Lita just made a um, plus eight on uh, on that K, uh, the KTOV. All right. Well, listen, let's give her a round of applause. Way to go. And that's where I want to go with this uh, regarding about a stock like KT, um, KTOV. Uh, but and the reason why I want to talk about some of these stocks is that, you know, I get a lot of scrutiny. You know, a lot of people will come up to me and says, Oh, I heard of Faust. I heard of Cybertrain Versity. They trade penny stocks. I don't trade penny stocks. You know, um, you never heard of these stocks. And first of all, let's be clear, okay? Number one, I and we do not trade penny stocks, okay? And if anybody asks you, you should always ask them, what is a penny stock? I'm just curious. And you know what you know what they think a penny stock is? Anything that trades under a, a five dollars. First of all, a penny stock is a stock that trades on the bulletin board, on the pink sheets, over the counter. We only trade Nasdaq national stocks, okay? Which means you get level three quotes, you, has a, a short list, everything else. You know, there's different rules um, in in uh, regulations regarding about stocks, uh, stocks, uh, what what types of uh, exchanges they trade on. That's number one, okay? All right, next thing people says, okay, well, regardless of what that means, um, and, and, and there's a, re a lot of reasons. Companies don't have to report, you know, all these you know, crazy rules. Uh, that's why they trade on one versus the other. But the main reason people always ask to me, and they says, well, you know, I never heard of these stocks, and, you know, um, what, by the way, what's Apple Options doing, okay? And I'm like, why are you trading Apple Options? Oh, I can't afford to trade the stock. Well, well, why why can't you trade a stock like Lita just trade the KTOV? You know, Ken just made you know nine cents on two thousand shares, made himself you know one hundred eighty bucks. All right, give him a round of applause. What's wrong with that? Well, I never heard of the stock. Well, you know what? How's Apple working out for you? Okay, how's that working out for you now? All right. So you want to go out there and you so called want to trade expensive stocks because, ooh, you know, I trade Apple. Hey, what's Apple doing today? Hey, well, hey well, what, what's going on with Tesla today? Hey, well, what, what's going on with, uh, with Facebook? Those stocks, are, what's going on with Amazon? Guys, these stocks are down almost 50%. 50 freaking percent, okay? Could you believe that? I don't even know if legally if I'm allowed to say that. I guess it's my show. I could say that. But... 50%. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Because you know what? The way Apple looks like right now, it's probably going to 100. It's probably going to go to 100. Okay? Where was it? 220? And you know what's so funny? You know, when you look at the news, the bombshell report that Apple just reported, look where they put all their chips in. You know, Everybody know why they're getting crushed? Okay? They put all their chips in. 
Okay, and by the way, this is probably why a lot of these big corporations didn't, and a lot of these uh, uh, companies didn't like what's going on in the pre uh, regarding what the trade war is going on. They put all their chips in, all in overseas, and all in China. Yeah, how's that working out for you? No wonder why. Maybe, maybe now it's starting to make sense why a lot of them were not on board with the tariffs and that because they all went in, you know, all chips in overseas and now it's getting now it's, uh, it's it's biting them so look at the stock values now they don't they don't plant well steve listen that's why we're here but that's okay that's okay you know what steve catastrophes make opportunities for us all right so let's go out there and uh let's make the best of it hey you know what let me tell you how you know if you're a good trader and a bad trader. A good trader could survive in, in markets like this. I've been doing this for 25 years, and I've been through the worst, and I've met some companies. I even met schools that were so great and blew Cyber Trade University away out, out of the doors. You know where they are today? Bankrupt. Bankrupt. And I don't want to repeat, but there are so many other companies out there. Um, even traders I know, they were sitting on top of the world, driving Ferraris, this and that. You know where the last guy that I had working on my roof was, was one of my top traders in my trading firm. And you know why he was a top trader? Because he was that guy that all went in all the time. He went all in, all in, all in, all in, all in. But then when the market crashed, you know what? He was all out. So anyway, it's all about slow and steady, guys. Make your days pay. Don't get cocky. But I just think it, it is so comical after seeing what happened with facebook and i called i told you guys when facebook got crushed that time and it says you know what we could see facebook um going back to 100 you know where, where, where'd it go it went from it went from like uh, let me bring up facebook over here so facebook um when we saw it up around 220 and then we had that bombshell report it went to 180 it says oh you know what watch the stock can go to 150 and sure enough it did now look where it went it went down to 120 all right so they got, they got their issues coming ahead, you know, um, uh, coming after them. But you know what? If they, The only thing, I, personally, how these companies will stay in business, you know, if Facebook and, and, and Instagram and all these companies, if they're able to keep their fees low, because obviously they have to make money, right, and, and compete against companies like Google, which, you know, the same lead, you know, follow, you know, follow internet leads. But, you know, like some of those, some of those, Leads probably cost like ten, fifteen dollars. If they could keep it at a couple of cents, I mean, they'll keep themselves in business. All right. So, regardless about all the scrutiny, that's when you know when you that's when you know you got a good deal on a stock. When you got the worst of the worst in the news and the worst of everything, and and the stock doesn't go any lower, that's when you know you hit uh, hit the bottom. Just fix the past uh, with uh, worth watching. Yeah, I know. Listen, that stock is obviously doing pretty well. Um, I know you guys are doing pretty well on the KTOV trade. And you could see the thing popping. By the way, I was going to put a quick announcement. What was the first stock on the list at 8 o'clock this morning? I'm going to put it in the chat right there. What did I tell you? Right there. KTOV. And uh, if you were here at 8 o'clock this morning, you all should have got in around a buck. Listen, I don't know, 20% on my money in about, what, 30 minutes? Where are you going to make that? Right here. So anyway, let's talk about some of the watch stocks that we traded yesterday. Uh, some of them did really well. First of all, let's look at HC. Uh, HCLP before we go through today's watch list that one was phenomenal look at that beautiful stock went from um, right out of the gate just didn't stop uh, only thing I didn't like about it I just did a little too slow but then and, and not only that but around you had to wait around till like 2 2 2 30 and had that big big pop look at that gorgeous Fausto flag right there is that beautiful that's what it's all about guys by the way we're gonna you learned it in phase two next week we're gonna be doing phase three so that one did pretty well uh, another one the AR and see, don't know what it is, never heard of it. Who the hell cares, right? Stock goes from sixteen sixty all the way to nineteen dollars. You know, how you doing? I'll take that all day long. <laughs> all right. Um and uh and the ACL and the ARNC, there was no news. I don't know what the hell the news was. I mean the, the thing just took off. So obviously somebody's out there doing something, uh pushing it up. And then obviously CCCL was really nice, a little cheap little stock right there. Right here at the open, nice little pop here, a buck eighty, all the way to two thirty. Um, that one did really well. Uh, everyone should at least made about twenty, thirty cents on that trade. So anyway, that's what we missed yesterday. Now let's talk about what's going on this morning because there are a couple of stocks. Obviously, um, listen, there's a lot of stocks moving this morning, and for some of you here that are new, 
and are watching this on one of our our our, our social network stations you know you got to be in it to win it in the market hours obviously new things pop up so, but what we found this morning, obviously everyone's doing well on the T, uh, the KTOV. That one is doing great. That one made the watch list. Thank you very much. And if you missed it, don't worry about it because uh, we'll see how she opens up in about 15 minutes from now. Next one, IZEA. Stock's up 22%, 100,000 shares. Stock was an $8, $8 stock last year. You can see the stock got destroyed. We know the stock moves. She backed off in pre-market, so I don't know, I'm a little skeptical on that might pass on that one but i want to see how she opens up alqa that one had some great volatility stock went up just went down from two she's pretty much all over the place but this stock you could see was a yeah it was a 55 dollars stock back in uh 2016 uh some of you remember it we did trade it back here uh, the uh, ending of last year that stock had some good movement so by knowing that stock Go back to your journals, what we train you what to do, see how you trade it, see what the, what you learn from it. I know we all traded that stock. I, listen, I always tell you this. The most important thing that you have to understand when it comes to trading is that when we teach you, you know, like my job, our job here at CTU is not to teach you how to make money. Our job is to teach you how to control losses, okay? And when you're a student at Cyber Trade University, you see how high, highly we focus on you know, on the journals. And then and in whenever some of you need help, he says, you know what? You're a student at Cyber Trade University, send us the journals, let's look at, let's review what you did. You have to learn from your mistakes because once you do that, you're not gonna do it again. You gotta learn. And when you win, you wanna take a good note, you know, and you know, some of you probably got this trade and didn't get it like, ah, I missed this ALQA, you know. Look at your journals, you know, maybe, maybe it might not be, be for you. Maybe you're ready for it now. But you got to take your notes and take it very, very seriously. Remember, we got money on the line, guys. This is not Vegas. You're not here to kind of make this all in one night. You're here to do this for the rest of your life. Here's another stock that um, I thought was pretty interesting, too, the DBVT. The stock uh, took a big hit. I'm seeing a little starting to fill up the gap right now. So this one stock is looking pretty good um, on the bounce, making a little comeback. Uh, SBS, this was actually my favorite stock so far this morning. This one I had a little bit earlier. Uh, I kept telling you, if you go back to the notes, I says, you know what? There's a big iceberg order out there on this SBS. And sure enough, look at her. She's trying to creep up there pretty nicely, you know? Bring up the one-minute chart. She's going up pretty nicely. Spread's not terrible. I saw some really good iceberg orders out there. You don't see it right now on the matrix, but it was pretty good. Um, you know, I saw them earlier. So if you're in that position, you should have got in. I don't know, I think it was like 10, 15, 10, 20, you know, so, but it's looking pretty strong going into this open. I really, look, that, that's very, very important. Uh, B, I spelled this wrong, not B-N-Y, B-M-Y. Okay, so here's another stock that took a little bit of a hit right here, uh, Bristol Myers. Yeah, go right ahead, knock yourself out. Go trade some brand name stocks. Yeah, how's that working out for you? <laughs> anyway, a little bit of a brand name, might be level five. Uh, no, no, I give it minimum of three, definitely a four. Uh, but if you're not a level three trader, they were from BMP, this thing, uh, BMY stock is, uh, going to be pretty volatile, but, uh, but she is making a little bit of dead cat bounce. We know that as long as they're not a pharmaceutical stock, they do come back. All right. So there's your brand name stock. And then obviously as an indicator, we're going to keep an eye on Apple because Apple, you know, every single person, um, in every ETF has Apple in it and it's going to take down a lot of them, but Everyone heard about the AD, uh, ADP uh, job reports, 271,000 source pass expectations. So meanwhile, the market should be up huge today, but it's not going to be up that huge because Apple's going to take them down. You know, one last tip of the day I want to give everyone before we go, okay? The Dow Jones. When I first came into this business, uh, one, of my, uh, one of my mentors uh, always taught me and says, and I said, oh, what's the Dow doing? What's the Dow doing? Ooh, what's the Dow doing? What's the Dow? You know what he told me? He says, Fausto, do you know the Dow makes up 30 stocks of the 25,000 stocks in the market? He says, and, and you know that some of the stocks have more power as in more percentage control the Dow than others. And if you don't, if you're not a good performer, they will kick you out out of the Dow and put somebody else in there. So 
The Dow, just to let you know, is a little bit of an, an artificial number. You know, the Russell 2000, very good number. The S&P, pretty decent, you know. But uh, just be careful when you look at the Dow numbers as much because, you know, if a company um, is, is, is one of their, you know, they, you always look at them as blue chip stocks, you know. But be careful of the Dow sometimes of taking it, you know, taking too much credit for it because, you know, it only makes up 30 of them. G was the Dow at that time. Yeah, and where's GE right now? You know, if GE was there, you know where the Dow probably would be? <laughs> Destroyed it. So anyway, that's where that goes in. But I'll tell you one thing. If you ever hear a company that makes any of those, uh, makes uh, some of those uh, S&Ps or the Dow, forget it. Those stocks take off. So always keep that in mind. All right, guys, listen. Sorry if it boring you and talking about these things. I just thought it was a kick of talking about Apple because I always get, hear, hear people always give me scrutiny like, oh, yeah, th th that guy trades, you know, they trade penny stocks and this and that. And I'm like, obviously, these people have no idea w w how trading works and, and what does it mean to trade a NASDAQ national, penny stocks, bulletin board, what they do, whatever. But obviously, being a student, you know one versus the other and why we do. But at the end of the day, let's just make money, guys. Listen, good luck. Happy trading. We'll see you back here. Um, we have a, an event today at 12 o'clock. Uh, open house for recruit, recruit recruitment. See if we can uh, see if anybody's interested in joining the team. And if they, obviously, if they're any good, we'll prove them to be part of the team. But uh, but uh, once again, uh, let's uh, let's the new year looks like a fall. Looks like the market's starting to pick up some momentum. So let's go out there and make some money. All right, guys. Uh, Bob says, Fausto, can you please send me your platform, please? Bob, send me an email. You got my email right there. Um, F A U S T O. You should be getting emails from me anyway. And I'll be able to get it over over to you. All right. Or you can ask anybody, the staff at CTO, and I'll send it to you. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.